today is the homecoming for Fano Afina Plunkett. It is about acknowledging Plunkett's true whakapapa. As you all know, Plunkett was born here in Karetani at the turn of the 20th century. And most people know the role that Sir Frederick Truby King played in our formation. I love that. Um, <laughs> but what so many people don't know is that when it comes to Plunkett's story, that is only half of it. The truth is, if it wasn't for these two amazing women, local towa, local midwives and healers, Plunkett probably wouldn't be here today. Mary Harper and Ria Tikini, or Big Mary and Mrs Chicken, as they were fondly called, often worked very closely with their friend and neighbour, Dr King, tending to the sick in this community. And it was Mary and Ria who helped deliver my great uncle Tommy Mutu Ellison in 1906, first Plunkett baby, and later helped Dr King nurture him back to health when breastfeeding issues were causing him to lose weight and become unwell. Mary and Ria's relationship with Truby King was enduring, and they were among some of the first health professionals to work with King in his Karatani home for babies when it opened in Dunedin in 1907. And it is this history that we are seeking to celebrate as we change our visual identity. Whānau Afina Plunkett is signalling a commitment to ensuring equitable outcomes for all our Māori whānau, to provide culturally appropriate services that make sure that wherever whānau go, they get the best service that meets their needs. We know that we have a lot of work to do, a lot of trust to build, but I hope that you will see today is a genuine commitment for delivering better for whānau.